Hey guys, what's going on? Tubo Cruz here, and today we're going to be talking about tires. So for those of you who are new to this channel, my name's Cruz. I like to make videos here about my life here in Japan and cycling and everything in between. So I actually just got this package in the mail. Pretty big, as you can see, this giant package. So this was ordered through Chain Reaction Cyclist. This video isn't sponsored by Chain Reaction Cyclist. It's just a really good site where you can get stuff for cheap online, shipped to Japan. Wiggle's also really good, so I usually shop between the two. But anyway, I ordered some tires online. So I thought I'd make a video talking about what tires that I'm using, what tires that I recommend for training and riding on road bikes, and also for commuting. So let's go ahead and open up the package and check these tires out. We actually got some mountain bike tires as well, but we're not gonna talk about those today. So right off the bat, you'll notice there's a big difference between these tires and this tire in this box, as well as this tire here. The key difference is this tire is folded, whereas these tires are not. So there's a big difference between, these are usually called wired bead type tires, and these are more like folding tires. It really depends on the tire, but generally people say that the folding ones are a little bit easier to get on and get off the tire, just because they're a bit more flexible. And the wired tires tend to be a little bit on the cheaper side. So you can save a little bit of money by going with the wired bead route. So let's go ahead and go through some of these options. So the first tire that I want to talk about is one of my favorite commuting tires. And this is a Schwabel, Schwabel. I'm not actually sure how you pronounce this. So anyway, so the company Schwabel, the model of this tire is the Marathon. From what I've read online, this is one of the more popular commuting tires. So probably most of you guys already know about this tire. So starting with some key traits about this tire, it's really affordable. It's not too bad. It's about $25 or so for when I bought this online at a pretty standard price. It's got some water tread in the top. It's got really durable, thick protection. If you look on this chart here, this is level five on the protection chart on their chart of one to seven. And that's pretty darn good, I think. So I've been riding these tires on my commuter bike, my yellow Schwinn Madison for over two years now. And I still haven't gotten a flat and there's plenty of miles, plenty of kilometers on that bike. Um, these are really solid tires. So I finally got some replacements for it right now. So the water tread on the top, also on the side, it's got this nice little white band. So it makes it stand out a little bit more while you're riding. As for size, I mostly go with 25 with my commuter bike because it's, it's still a road bike. It's still a fixie. There's not too much clearance uh, for the tires. If I had some bigger space for a commuter tire, I might go up to a 28 or even bigger. They do make some bigger sizes for this tire. So you can easily get the bigger size there. Anyway, these are incredibly durable. I've ridden thousands of kilometers on mine no problems never a single puncture and they really handle really well I ride in the rain all the time really solid tire really great price point really you can't beat it so solid recommendation for the Schwabel marathon tire so my next tire that I ordered is also from Schwabel this is called their Durano Durano living in Japan so long I lose my ability to pronounce like how we pronounce things in English um, So the Durano I'm guessing the Durano model for the tire. This is a new tire for me I haven't bought this one yet But there was a fairly decent difference in price between this one and the marathon tire that I just showed you guys This one on the protection level is only a four so one level down I'm not sure how big of a difference that makes the previous tire was a level green This is a level blue protection whatever that means by their standard the tread as you can see it's not nearly doesn't have as many water lines as the marathon one does so it is a little bit less protected in that sense but this was a lot cheaper this was only about for the marathon tire I ended up paying about 3,000 yen per tire so that's about 27 26 dollars and for this one it was about 2400 yen so about 22 dollars so it's a savings of about five six dollars so about 25% though on these tires. So a 25% savings in price might be worth it if these end up having some decent durability. These also seem to weigh a little bit less because there's less protection, but I'm gonna put these on and test them out and see how they go. If you've ridden these tires before, the Schwabel Durano, Durano, let me know how it's worked out for you. They had some pretty good reviews online, so I'm pretty hopeful for these. And um, if they end up working good, I might use these more and save a little bit more money in my commuting tires. These are also 25 width, pretty much do that standard on all my road bikes. So I got one set of each of those. The final road commuting tire that I want to highly, highly recommend is the Continental Gator Skins. Most of you watching this probably already know about these tires. 
These have incredible protection. I've been riding these on my road bikes for years and I still have yet to get a single puncture due to fault of the tire itself. Any puncture that I got was just from wear on the tube itself. So nothing from the tire. Ridiculous level of protection. I actually still race on, these tires are so smooth and fast as well. So I actually use these tires to do races. I've raced in crits here in Japan on these tires. I've placed in crits and cat one crits here in Japan on these tires. It's not nearly as light as some other racing tires that you might use, but um, right now in my racing career, I'm not really focused so much on results. I'd much rather have a tire that's guaranteed to not flat than just um, take the risk and go a little bit lighter and have that lighter tire. So talking about racing tires, that's a whole different topic. That's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about tires that will protect you from getting flats and allow you to enjoy your ride and not worry about those things. The bad point about these tires is these are much more expensive than the other two tires we just recommended. These ones start out at about $50 and if you're lucky and you time your shopping online right, you find these on sale, you can usually get these for about $40. If you're really lucky, you can get down to $35. But again, it depends on the type that you're getting. There's two types of these tires. There is the folding style, which I have here, which is more expensive than the wired bead one, which is the more open style, just like these two that we just reviewed. So if you find it way cheaper online, make sure that you're getting the correct one that you want. If you don't want the wired bead one and you want the folding one, make sure that you're selecting the right one. This one's usually at least about $5 more expensive than the wired bead one. Uh, so keep that in mind. So yeah, usually I can get these on sale for about $40, $45. If they're ever on sale, I'll stock up on a few of them. So when I need to swap them out, I have them rather than waiting and then buying them at full price later if I can't get them on sale. Definitely worth stocking up on a few of these because you will use them eventually. So these are handmade in Germany. Really great product, highly recommended. I've raced these on gravel road races. I ride my road bike everywhere. And actually I have these on a lot of my bikes right now. I have these on my road bike. I have these on my wife's road bike. I have these on my cyclocross bike. And I ride everywhere. I'll ride on dirt roads. I'll ride on mountain bike trails. And again, no problems. Incredible durability on these. Incredibly fast rolling. You can still participate in races on these. So if you're looking for a commuter tire that you can still ride hard and fast and keep up with everyone, this is the one that you want to get. If you want to save money and still have something incredibly durable, go with these Schwabel Marathons. You can't go wrong with both of them. Um, the only problem with these ones is they do have a bit more rolling resistance, so you're not going to be able to go quite as fast as you would with the Gator Skins. But these probably do handle a little bit better in the rain, I do have to say. Can't go wrong with both of these. But anyway, hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any other suggestions of road tires that you can use for training or commuting, that I didn't introduce in this video. I'm sure there's a bunch of other ones available. Let me know in the comments if you have any other cheaper solutions, more durable solutions, more puncture resistant solutions. By all means, please let me know. Please let everyone know in the comments and we'll maybe check those out in the future when we need to get some more new tires. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you like these kinds of videos and wanna see more videos about cycling, life in Japan, and cycling tips, be sure to like this video. And also, if you have any new ideas that you want us to go over, leave it in the comments. If you want to help support this channel, go Go check out our Patreon link. And if you want to see more videos about us cycling and life in Japan, here's our playlist of videos of us cycling around Japan. That's it for today. Again, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time here on Tuo Cruise.